Welcome to Cuckoo Visual Treats. Today we are going to paint this delicious orange. So look at the lights and the shadows. It's quite a tasty citrus fruit. So I use uh, um, the acrylic paper today. So which is uh, 300 GSM, 400 GSM sheets available. They are they are nice. They are very good. So I am doing the basic sketch using pencil. I use 8B pencil so that it is quite soft and easy to erase. So I took a reference photo uh, from my kitchen. So nowadays we buy these oranges and they are very delicious. So make the basic shape like this and erase and finalize the basic shape. So after that you can proceed with acrylics. So I use Camel Camlin acrylic brand. So any brand is fine. So few tubes of Pebio also I have. So I've taken um, dark brown right now. So I'll always start with the dark brown for lining. I use a very thin brush for making the line. So you can make the outline slowly. Carefully make the outline. Once the outline is made, you can start filling the colors. So in the top, I'm trying. I'm, I'll be filling black, and for the bottom, I'll be filling uh, dark brown, which is burnt umber. So the burnt umber, the same burnt umber we used to for outlining. So take your time and. Uh, if the video is faster, you can pause the video. Sometimes uh, the paint may be thin. You you might add water. You, you don't um, do not add more water. Just add minimal water, required amount of water when mixing with the paint. So let's take the colors for the orange. So I, I start with uh, the yellow deep, deep yellow and uh, some white I'm taking. Then some red which is a vermilion hue I'm taking. So these are the, the rich colors I mean. Um, the red is quite deep and even yellow is very deep, deep yellow I'm taking. This is uh, uh, burnt umber and a little bit of black also I take so I'm keeping the plate comfortably over the drawing sheet because the acrylics have dried already okay so this yellow appears to be a little darker and it's more rich it's a deep yellow so I'm trying to apply this deep yellow first so bringing out the correct color is a bit challenging in this painting so you have to try your best and as I always say that you keep trying then the experiences your experience will help you. I 
I'm filling this yellow, which is yellow deep for the entire um, entire uh, the orange and the um, the pieces of orange. So now I'm mixing a little bit of red. So this I'm going to apply. in the bottom so be careful about uh, how much red you are mixing very little little bit of red if you mix the color changes so keenly observe and be sensitive to the color changes so look at the observe the strokes that i do look at those vertical strokes those stro strokes going towards the center and these strokes they look like uh, the orange uh, pieces so applying in this uh, lower half of the orange so which will get a good shadow So now I want little more darker shadows. So to the same mixing, I'm adding little bit of uh, burnt umber, and it gets little darker. So using this color for the bottom area, as you see. So it is an uh, easy and simple painting. but uh, the color mixing is uh, uh, maybe a little challenging now with the yellow i'm adding some white and i'm applying in the top the top area like that also applying here look at the strokes what i do so i use a small flat brush should be number should be some 4 so this yellow plus red then little bit of dark brown which gives me the darker color which i'm applying so gradually increasing the darker tone so we don't have to do a perfect blending here because the scale of the the surface of the orange is uh, not very smooth so it has uh, up little bit of up and down and that uh, texture i'm trying to bring it so doing few strokes here also so increasing increasing the shadow um adding more of uh, dark brown now so with the kind of squint eyes or uh, closer close your eye and try to see 
the image to understand the tone is it dark and light and so that we can understand the tone of the subject so again a bit of uh, so sometime for a proper blending so you can clean the brush with a cloth then with a dry brush you can you can try to do the shading kind of thing so we are almost done so we have to make the highlights and some proper blending again we have to do so also i might use uh, another yellow yellow cadmium yellow another yellow in the end so right now i'm trying to give the highlights so light uh, i've set up a light so it uh, gives this beautiful highlights it is called also called rim light so it is only in the edges we see this light so another name for this is rim light mixed with a little bit of yellow then i'm trying to apply here in the bottom also some little bit of highlight so now right now yellow plus white i'm trying to do so little bit of reflection i can see in the uh, table so trying to apply this uh, muted colors not a bright color is mostly brown and little bit of yellow so vary the tones start with little darker tone then increase it okay now the perfect uh, cast shadow i'm trying to do using the black directly after applying i'm using dry brush i'm trying to do minimal very minimal blending so giving this depth is very important
it's one and a tip of the orange try to give a more darker tone now i just apply more darker tone a uh, little later i'll be applying um, darker orange here so with a very small brush i'm trying to sign so i'm muralidharan alagar artist from chennai uh, you can visit my site kuku.in c u c k o o o dot i n you can see all my artworks and details of uh, my art class details so i take uh, classes for kids and uh, seniors mm, sketching oil pastels watercolor and acrylics and even figurative drawing and uh, digital drawing also so with a thin brush i'm trying to fine tune the the highlights the pure white I have already applied that highlights I'm making it very sharp so always second time if, if you apply and the white becomes more brighter so now I have uh, I'm trying to use another yellow color which is uh, cadmium yellow uh, I'm going to use it before that so right now I'm this deep yellow plus uh, red so which i'm trying to apply again over this so the orange color otherwise the orange uh, is looking very dark so i'm trying to improve the the color and so with the less color i'm trying to apply so we get that kind of transparency so already we have the darker color behind and slowly trying to increase the uh, the tones now the whole thing looks like uh, orange and now the color looks better color and the tone both look better so now in between um, yellow and the kind of orange color okay so right now i'm applying the cadmium yellow so this brightens up makes it uh, more richer okay hope uh, you have enjoyed painting this share with me um share it your, with your friends share your artwork with me and have a good day bye bye